Welcome back to the Detail Garage. As I mentioned before, we have this black Escalade in the shop. Uh, we prepped it by washing it, now we're going to go and clay it, getting it ready for polishing. If you come closer here, you can see this car has a lot of spider webs, a lot of hairline scratches and swirls in it, and the paint is really rough. So this car, although it's black, it's, you know, it's going to show all those imperfections, any scratches and swirls. Uh, we want to get it cleaned up looking right. I got my buddy Jerry here, he's going to help me polish this up because it's about 1.30 right now and the owners come back at 5 o'clock to pick this thing up, so we've got to hurry, kind of hustle on it. Uh, so we're going to start by claying it and then we're going to polish it. So start off, we're going to clay it. Uh, we're going to be using the clay block because this will save us a lot of time and effort because this is a huge truck. Uh, doing this with the clay bar would take a long time. But with the clay block, we'll cover a lot more area. It'll still pick up all the embedded contaminants and uh, it'll just save us a lot more time. So it works in the traditional sense of any clay. You want to lubricate the surface, lubricate the area, and then you're going to work it back and forth in straight and even linear motions. No circles or uh, circular motions because if you pick up any kind of contamination, it'll create a swirl. And as I keep mentioning, this is something that's a lot easier to see and a lot harder to remove. So if you're new to claying, uh, what you're doing is you're actually pulling things that have embedded themselves in the paint. At first it's going to sound kind of rough or it's going to feel like it's dragging, but as you pull contamination out, it's going to start making the paint feel really smooth and slick and that's how you know you're ready to move on. So now that we just clayed the surface, it's really smooth, you can't hear that contamination anymore. Uh, also my hand glides across this really nicely. It's time for the polishing steps. So over here I've got my Torque 22D. We're going with the bigger machines because this is a bigger vehicle. This has a 21 millimeter throw so it's going to cover more surface area, uh, which saves us time and effort. Also we're going to try and do a one step polish just using the V36 with an orange quantum pad. These both uh, tend to work pretty well together. This is a final polish, micro brace polish that can take down you know, oxidation, scratch and swirls, water spots without having to follow up with a two-step polish. So I'm only going to apply about five dime-sized drops of the V36. Uh, I've already shaken up the product. This mixes all the chemicals together and all the braces. And then we're going to start polishing it. But before we do that, we're going to spray some pad conditioner on this, which is actually going to help reduce friction, which helps reduce the chance of marring. Now the first thing you want to do is blotch out the product over the surface that you'll be polishing. And since I'm only going to be doing half of the hood, I'm only going to blotch out a small section. And then on the lowest speed setting, or speed setting one, we're going to go ahead and just spread it out and then we'll bump it up to the highest speed setting and that's how we'll do our actual polishing.
So I've just finished polishing this side of the hood. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tape so we can see that big unveil. Just using some regular quick detail, this is P40 quick detailer. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe off that excess residue that was left behind by the tape. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself. It's like for living, should I blast myself? So just by using the V36, we've gotten amazing results. It's taking care of the water spots, the oxidation, and most of the scratches and swirls on this half of the hood. Jerry and I are gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of the vehicle and we'll catch up with you guys in just a minute. Alrighty guys, Jerry and I just finished polish off the entire Escalade. Right now it's about four o'clock, which gives us enough time to glaze it and wax it. So come back in here next time, tune into the detail garage where we're gonna bring it in here, wax it, get it looking right. If you wanna learn more about these products, check it out on our website, chemicalguys.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time, thanks for watching.